Welcome back everybody to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to get started on our elevator system. So uh, first order of business here is let's go over to the workbench and I need to make iron rebar. Uh, now I'm going to need a total of three of these either three six floors or two six floors and one five floor i'm not sure yet probably three six floors is what i'm thinking so um we've got all the iron we need we should be fine on springs and pipes we're gonna need to make some more bolts we're fine on these parts these parts these parts these parts and these parts and then we need a bunch of iron rebar so let's see for iron rebar well, we make that in there and it said 18. So that means we're going to need um, 36 and then 54 in total. Uh, how many of those do I have now? I have none. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to need 54. I think if I did my math right, and I'm terrible at math. So <laughs> if I make too many, then we'll have a few spares. If I don't make enough, we'll make some more. Okay. So we'll get those going. And then... Um, uh, we also needed bolts too, uh, more bolts. So those are made out of iron ingots. We need 150 per. So basically we need to make another 154 to make three six floor, uh, six story elevators. Uh, let's make another 200 though. So we have some extras. Oh, 287, no. There we go. Okay. Oh, hold on. I guess that makes five per. Okay. In that case, we just need to make 50 more then. No, 75? Okay. No, <laughs> why does it do that? It adds an extra number to it. It's so frustrating. This stupid game's always done that. 60. There we go. That gives us our 300. Okay. So let's grab that. And put all this stuff back in there because it's making me too doggone heavy here. All right. Now we're going to go here and let's craft the first six story elevator. That's going to take five minutes to do. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do, you guys. Um, check this out. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. It's <laughs> it's hanging out. Um, we might have to replace this block with something that's, that's not floating. Um, so what we could do is we could go here. We could use this block here probably would work. I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. Okay. So if that was on face. Nope. It needs to go. Uh, guess we'll need to do an advanced rotation that way. Okay. Balls. Okay. We need wood planks. Okay. We'll set these back to normal blocks. Get the paintbrush out. Texture picker. Uh, oh, I guess we need paint too. It's funny how that works. If you want to paint something, you have to have paint. Tell it to do the whole block. There. Okay, now. Grab another sign. Here's your sign.
More better. <laughs> okay. More better. Do we actually have beer in here? And more importantly, do I have the the perk that doesn't get me all uh, fuzzy if I drink a beer? One way to find out, right? Nope, I don't have it. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> have to be on the lookout for that. It was nice to have a cold beer though. Okay, put that in there. Um, all right. So here's what I'm thinking. What time is it? It's 12:30. Horde Horde nights tomorrow, uh, and I haven't even done anything to um uh get the base ready. It's we got to get it repaired and stuff. That still has one minute and 58 seconds. Okay, how are we doing on bolts? We have enough to make the second elevator? Uh, we do. Okay, so let's get the second elevator crafted. What I think I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to run out to the desert uh, because several of you reminded me, and I knew this. In fact, I've even done this in an earlier episode a long time ago, that I can just get sand from the desert. I was completely not thinking about that. Uh, in the last episode when I was talking about how you can't make sand in Undead Legacy. Uh, so I'm just going to grab the Valkyrie Drill, a couple cans of gas, go out there and just get a metric shit ton of sand. I'm going to do that all off camera because that's all I'm going to do. And then I will come back and get the third elevator made. And then I will bring you guys back at that point and we will proceed from there. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back and we have... Uh, 8,000 sand uh, with us, so that should last for a little while, I would think. Let's go ahead and stick that in here. And um, I just picked up some other junk, you know, along the way. Oh, I we got um, a big stack of aloe vera and a big stack of yucca while I was out there, uh, too. So... We got over a hundred of each one of those, so that's good. Um, all right, so I need to put all this crap away. We have uh, two of our elevators. We just need to make the third one, and yeah, I think I'm gonna make another six because that way we can either get off at this floor or go all the way up to the roof if we have a reason to do so. Uh, okay, so while that's cooking up, I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff away, and then. Um, probably get going on some concrete blocks and then when we're ready to actually start placing the elevators i'll bring you guys back at that point okay guys um we are <coughs> excuse me ready to um start working on getting the elevators placed so i'm gonna take one of those because they're extremely heavy which is to be expected and um we have to figure out now exactly how this is going to go so we're going to be on the south side of the building. Uh, we should be able to see this opening from down below. Um, at least I think we'll be able to. Man, I'm going to have to lighten up a little bit more here. Well, no, actually, here, let's just take a steroid. Okay, so let's head on down. Okay, so... Um, let's get out here. It's kind of hard to see up there, isn't it? So, what we're going to need to do is uh, clear some of this stuff out of the way. Uh, so, let's do that first. Screamer. Alright, let's go around and dispatch her. I don't want her calling a horde in. It's right there. I don't think she can see me, though. Clear some more stuff out of the way here. I don't want to use my power tools um, while it's nighttime out because that's going to attract screamies and other undesirables. 
Uh, I think all of this crap's gonna have to come out. Okay, so, um, in my testing that I did a while back on this, in order for the elevator to be at the right height, I had to put it up on a couple of, man, was it one block high or two block high? I can't remember now. I probably better go, probably better go check that on my test save. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back, and it's also morning, and um, so I have given this some thought. I kind of went and looked and saw what I did on uh, my my test save, and I think I have a plan now for how this is going to go. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set uh, two blocks in place uh, here that are nine apart, so two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll do the same thing over here. One, two, three, or no, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we will do the same thing right here. Okay, good. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to put the first elevator on top of this. Um, oh, you know what else I'm going to do too, though? So I'm going to put a support in the center, uh, which is right about here. Let's go down. That looks correct that way and correct that way. Uh, we'll go down a couple blocks just to make this a little stronger. There we go. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to hop up here, just get a little bit of a, above it. And we should be able to put it on just like that. All right, fantastic. There's nothing I can do about this gap here unless I maybe come along later and put some plates over it or something. Uh, but it's just, you know, the way that the elevator is. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, put some ramps up. So let's go, um, actually, here, let's divide these up. Okay, so this one we're going to make the ramp tip, I think. Yeah, so let's go here, a ramp wedge. Oh, well, actually, one of, one of them needs to be that, and one of them needs to be the wedge. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> I just made both of them the wedge. Okay, hold on a sec. Make that the tip. Very good. Okay, so um, we have to start with the wedge. And we're going to put these like this. And then we're going to... No, Dad, burn it. Didn't have it rotated the right way. Put those there. <clears throat> okay, and now... Um, Let's put a temporary support block here. Um, right, okay, now then what we're going to want to do with this is we're going to want to go to this shape here. There we go. Put that there, that there, that there, and that there. Um, then we go back to... Uh, nope, we go back to the wedge tips. And then we go to those guys and these guys like so. And then for inside of here, we want um, the wedge tips, but inverted. So, um, if we just 
just do advanced. Oh, shoot. Did I just have it there? There we go. Yeah, just like that. Okay. We should be able to pick that up now. Okay, so that gives us our ramp. And we have the first elevator down. All right, now what we're going to do is I need I'm going to need some more blocks of both types. So let me go make a few more concrete blocks and a few more wood blocks to be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to pull up to we're going to probably start right here and pull up this way. Okay, we'll come down to here. Actually, let's come down to here. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to remove um, this block here. And we'll put a concrete block in there. And then we need to do the same thing over on this side. Come on. Get down there. Why are you being a pain in the butt? There. That, there we go. Okay. Um, whoa. Don't lag. This is a bad time to lag. Okay. Good. Now, let's... um. Oh, shit. You know what? Um, actually, yeah, I do want to do that. So, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to pick those two back up, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, yeah, that's good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back out here. Here, let's pick these guys up. Come back out to our pole and pick those up. And then we're going to go down one, uh, maybe even down two. <laughs> How about three? Okay. Now let's come over to here. And can I reach that? Nope, we're going to have to put another one in here. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, pick those two up. Pick that one up. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to build these out here. And we're going to get down a couple blocks. And now what we're going to have to do, got to have to, we're going to have to come out this way temporarily. <laughs> yep, bad time to lag. <laughs> okay, and then we want to bring you out to there. Oh, lordy. Let me get out one more here. Um... Yeah, <clears throat> I need to get out one, oh, oh, one more. There we go. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. And here. And then we should be able to do this 
like so. Okay. And we'll get back to our pole. And that's all we need to do for the moment. I don't want to go down too fast. Because if you go down too fast, you can break your leg. Okay, let's hop on the elevator. Now, riding these elevators on foot is really risky because um, a lot of times when I've tried to do it, you know, just messing around with this, it, you glitch to the floor. So you want to really be in a vehicle. Okay. Now what we should be able to do is take this and that looks right. Plop it in place. Okay, cool. Very good. Now, we're going to need to do the same kind of thing over here. So, um, yeah, let's see. Can we, can we put these down on top of this? Yeah, we can. Can we get up on it? It's a little, little trickier there, isn't it? Put that there. Can we jump up? Yeah, here we go. Okay, good. Okay, let's pull up here. Right, okay, now we want to do the same thing here at this level. Right? Yeah, I think so. So we can um, we can actually put a block directly in there already, but we're gonna have to get over uh, nine blocks over each direction. Or no, well nine blocks in total, so four blocks over each direction from the center here. Oh wait a minute though, that might not be the center. Now that I think about it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that is the center. Okay, so one, two, three, shit. Okay, um. <laughs> okay, we're in a bit of a pickle now. And then we want to go over one more this way. Okay, so this needs to be nine blocks wide. So let me just double check this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is correct. Okay, so that means what we have to do here now is we have to we have to break out this window here and we have to put a block in uh yeah we want a block there too but we actually want to go down one more okay we want one there and one here Okay, um, that can come out, and this can go in if I can get it in the right spot. There we go. Okay, and then same thing over here. Okay, that should be good. 
So let's pick up our frame shapes. And we want to once again build the no from here. Nuts. Okay, can I reach that from here? Not quite. Okay, we're gonna have to scooch over a little bit. Right. Okay. Let's go down three and now we're going to have to go out like we did before. That should do it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is drive them to this elevator. Oh, I just sprained my leg, dang it. Okay, and then we're gonna pull up from here to get our third elevator. Man, I am uh, really screwing myself up here, aren't I? Um, okay, do I have any... I only have the one steroid and that's all I have um you know we're gonna come across more steroids I'm, I'm just gonna take it because i just went from like what a minute and a half to seven minutes <laughs> on that sprain it's like not good and here while we're here let's take one of these two okay so we're gonna grab the third elevator And then we're going to pull back down. Okay, let's see if we can set it from here. There we go. Nice. Okay, now what we need to do is back up onto this elevator. And then go up to the fifth floor. And all that remains now is just to make a platform to get off the elevator into our, our place there. It looks like I could have actually gone over one block, but that's all right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to work well enough as is. Cool. Okay, so let's um let's bust this out. And we'll put that one block in there. Um just out of curiosity. We might I don't know if this is gonna be perfectly level with the roof. It it, it no it isn't. So if we need to bring a vehicle up here, we'll have to do a platform with just a little ramp going up there. I'm not sure if we will do that or not, though, but we have the option to do it if we do, you know, if we do decide to do it. Okay. Let's go back down to floor five. Very good. All right. So I am, um, I need to save the rest of my concrete um, stuff for... Uh, for getting ready for Horde Night. Because uh, it, well, it's Horde Night now. It's Horde Day. <laughs> uh, and it's 11 a.m. So, what we're going to do 
is, let's see here. What do I got going on in here? Okay, I've got some more concrete mix, but I think we're going to need, yeah, see, I'm very low on stone powder. And I don't think I have any more concrete blocks in here, do I? What about in here? I have 25 more in there. Okay. Um, but still not very much, though. So what I'm going to do is we're going to wrap up the episode here. We'll start the next episode by going um, to the horde base and getting it fixed up. And then uh, after the horde night is over, I'm probably going to have to go do some mining to get some more stone. Uh, and we're also getting low-ish. Well, we're not in terrible shape on steel and iron, but we definitely could use some more. So basically, after the horde night, I need to go mining. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. But the idea here is that we're going to... We're going to build a platform here um, that's going to come out here. I'll put some rails on it. And then that way, you know, when we drive all the way up here, then we just drive out on the platform and then into the building there. Okay, so that's the basic idea. I might also just, I don't know, I might take these blocks out and put full blocks in just so everything touches. We probably don't, I'm sure we don't need to do that, but I might do it just because I think it'll look better. Plus, I don't know, can I accidentally fall through here? Nope. Okay. But I did, you know, I did that down on the other ones. So I'll probably do that too. But, you know, we will, we'll wait until we get a few more resources. But yeah, that's the basic idea, guys, uh, behind the elevator. So let's just, uh, let's just test it out before, we, before I leave you. We're going to go all the way down and come all the way back up. So, you know, this is not going to be significantly slower than the ladder. It's going to be, it's a little slower, but it's not like hugely slower. And it's a, it's more fun, A, and B, it's more realistic too, because, you know, we shouldn't be able to climb up a ladder with eight tons of material in our inventory. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably, I think, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys or not, but I'll probably put a, a ramp on the other side of here, too. Just so we can come at it from, you know, either direction. Very nice. Okay. So that is our elevator system. And, you know, the other thing to think about, too, is let's say we come back with a, a full load in, like, the ore cart... All we'd have to do is drive up there, push the button, and go up. Whereas when I come back with a full ore cart here, I got to park, and then it takes me usually, you know, three or four trips to cart it over to the box before I can go up. So really, if you think about it that way, this probably is, it, it's probably a wash, or it could even be faster. Now, you know, now if you consider it like that, right? Okay, let's see how fast we can get up. So... I mean, the actual climbing of the ladder is probably faster, but again, if you take into account the fact, though, that I've got to stop and load and all that, this is this is potentially faster now, if you look at it that way, you know what I mean? And it's way cooler. <laughs> and we go to floor five here. Right, and then once we have our platform in, we just drive right on in here, park the vehicle, and offload our stuff. And then, you know, when, when it's all said and done, I mentioned this to you guys in a previous episode, this corridor here is going to actually be a driveway. Um, and this corner I'm planning on making my garage and my workshop. Uh, mechanical workshop anyways. So, yeah, I'm liking this, man. I'm really liking the way this is coming together. But anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go here for this episode. Like I said, we'll start the next episode uh, pretty much right where we left off. We'll go get the Horde base um, uh, fixed up and ready to go. And we'll do the Horde night. And then after that, um, I have to go do some mining. So, 
we'll just see how things go, you know, in, in terms of timing in the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.